let's get started with the revision. Here comes your first tariff question. Now, this in the past revision lessons, we've had grade 10 and grade 11. There's nothing to do with grade 10 and grade 11 here now. Uh, we're going to do an easy question and then a more challenging question. All right, you guys, I know you think tariffs are all challenging, but we're going to work our way up and I'm going to explain this. I'm going to explain it easily, okay? So you see the face on the side there when everyone hears the words tariffs, like Tiamo, they get very, very worried, but we're not going to worry about that. You guys can do this. More practice, the better you get. Okay, so let's have a look at this scenario here. So it says Tato is a resident in the Pakisa municipality and below is a tariff on a sliding scale that the municipality uses to charge her for water usage. So every municipality, Elanati, has these kind of tables on their website. Every municipality uses this kind of sliding scale to charge people for water and electricity. You do see these kind of uh, tariff tables used in other instances, but it's mostly for water and electricity uh, charges here in South Africa. Um, so what it what it entails is instead of having a flat rate, a flat fee for the amount of water that you use, they scale up the fees, all right, uh, depending on how much water you use. So the more water you use, the higher the, the rate will be or the fee will be, okay. So if we look at the tariff table at the bottom here, where you've got four rows or four blocks or four brackets, Okay, so let's look at the first row there. It says that we have up to 6KL. Who can tell me what the KL stands for? Anyone in chat? What is KL? This is water usage. What does KL stand for, chat? There we Ooh, go. That's very good. Good. That was right. very quick. <laughs> yes. Good. Kiloliters. Well done. Good, good, good. Yes. Very good. So kiloliters. Okay. So kiloliters, how many liters is that? A kilo, one kiloliter, how many liters is that? Oh, you guys are fast or not. Oh, on holiday, but they're still fast fingers. All right, so a kiloliter, KL, a kiloliter is a thousand liters. So we've got up to 6,000 liters here in the first row. All right, so we're looking at the first row here. So if you're from zero up to six kiloliters, Sina, yes, you have a question. Let me quickly unmute. I hope you can see the pop-up on your screen that is asking you to unmute. Yeah, Let's check see. your check your screen, Sina Lonko. There's gonna be a little pop-up on your screen. Oh, the hand went oh, down. A hand went Might down. Might have been a mistake. Okay, no problem. No problem. All right, so we're on the first row from zero to six kiloliters. Um, and they say that the rate, if we look on the right-hand side now, the rate per kiloliter is zero rands. Okay, so remember I talked about this. Um, uh, in 1994, when Nelson Mandela came out of prison and they, uh, the ANC took control of the government, their initiative, which was a very good one, they said, we need to provide free education, free basic water usage, um, free basic rights for everyone in the country. So this zero to six kiloliters is a, a, free, a free basic service right for every household in South Africa. A lot of municipalities have done away with this, but in the old days, you should see every municipality uh, applying this. So from the from zero to six kiloliters, that's basic water, all right, that uh, everyone should get for free, okay? From there onwards, you start getting tariffs, all right? Now, I want to have a look at you at this heading in the second column on the top right-hand side. It says rates per kiloliter, KL, VAT of 15% inclusive so that means the vat has been included in these rates okay so we don't have to worry about uh adding vat on at the end here all right so we have vat inclusive rates here uh and to look at the top as well there's a little note it says there is a fixed charge a fixed charge this word fixed means it's not going to change all right it doesn't change with how much water you use it's fixed so if you have, and this symbol over here, you can tell me what this symbol is over here, in front of the six kiloliters, the six KL, what does that symbol mean? Somebody in chat, can you tell me what that symbol means there? Great. 
Greater than. Very good. Well done. So it says, I'll read it again. Very good. Well done, guys. It says, there's a fixed charge if greater than six kiloliters. So if your water usage is more than six kiloliters, you have to pay a fixed charge. No matter how much water you use above six kiloliters, you're paying this charge. Okay. If you use one drop of water above six, it doesn't matter. You're paying this 80 rand 70. Okay. So for every single row, if we go to the table on the, on the left-hand side now, every single row after six, you're paying this charge. Okay. So we are exempt if you're below six, the first row. All right. So all three of these are going to have to pay. You're going to be paying a charge if you're in any three of those. All right. Okay. So we've got a fixed charge if we go above six kiloliters. Uh, the first six kiloliters is free. And then we got three rows in brackets here. Now, I put a, had a question mark over here on the left-hand side because there is a value missing in this row. Can anyone tell me what is this value here with this red question mark? Because it says something up to 30 kiloliters. Can anyone tell me what should be there? What value should be there? Something up to 30 kiloliters. Ah, oh, okay. Sambulo, there we go. That's the one I'm looking for. Very good. Okay. Now the seven is not is not completely wrong because you from six the next number up is seven. Okay, but we need to be careful here because between the number six and the number seven, between those two integers, those whole numbers. There's a lot of decimal numbers in between there. 6.5, we've got 6.1, 6.9. There's a whole lot of numbers between there. So what about those? All right. So to try and take care of all those numbers, what we do is we write there 6, 1. Okay. Now, it's not the best way to do it. Um, but it's just a way to say, if you're above six kiloliters, you're in the second bracket now, okay? So that 6,1 is saying, anything above six kiloliters, you go into this second bracket now. All right, you can see in the third bracket, they've got 30,1, because in the second bracket, it ends with 30. So the third bracket will start with 30,1, okay? And then in the last bracket, this is very interesting. They don't even write 60,1 here. They write the words more than more than okay or greater than in fact we could have put a symbol there instead of having saying more than 60 kiloliters we could have put a symbol there to say greater than 60 kiloliters so sometimes these tariff, tariff tables actually have those symbols in these are called inequality symbols all right more than less than greater than um Lenati, i don't think they'll ask that question so i don't think they'll ask a the question where they'll remove one of the numbers and ask you what should be there i did it on purpose um, just to help explain that if you go from one bracket into the other, if, for example, if you're going from the first bracket just over six, in the second bracket, it must start just after six, okay? And the way that these people, uh, when they drew this tariff table, when the way they did it was said, let's start from six comma one, okay? So that's just after six. All right, so it's not wrong to say seven because seven comes after six, but they've made it a little bit more accurate 6,1. If you want to be really accurate, you should be saying 6,0000001. All right. Um, the correct mathematical way to do it is like this. I'll write it on the screen. Don't worry about this. You don't have to write this. It's just understanding it. Okay. So we can say, um, I'm going to put you at kiloliters. So this is the water use. Kiloliters. All right. Uh, that it's greater than 6 and less than and equal to 30. Okay, so that's the best way to do it, but you often see it written like that in a tariff table, but this way that we have a chair is easier to understand. So sometimes they use inequalities like less than, equal to, greater than, stuff like that, but these tariff tables where they use decimals, just another way to show it. All right, so we're trying to show a, a bracket of water usage, a certain part. All right. Okay, let's get into the question and it'll make more sense as we go through this. Okay, so just remember what uh, we've got four rows here. Um, and the first row up to six kiloliters is free. We also have a fixed charge, which you must remember. If we go over six kiloliters, we're going to have to pay that no matter what. 
Okay, so here's the first question. Six, uh, sorry, 1.1. Calculate the new fixed charge. Now, where is the fixed charge? That is this 80 Rand 70. Calculate the new fixed charge if it is increased by 7.5%. All right, you guys can do this, not too, not too difficult. Go ahead and calculate that, and then we'll check it together. I'll give you about a minute or two. All right, calculate the new fixed charge if it is increased by 7.5%. All right, you guys have got about a minute left. Tiana, are you too shy to drop our answer maybe? All right, so Bulo. Mm, that so that is a, a good assessment that you look at your answer and you think hmm this is very big <clears throat> so a quick assessment of your answer will help you check if you're doing the right thing so let's have a look all right so there's two ways that you guys learned how to do this i try to show, uh, show you a quicker way but i'm going to show you the the two-step process as well just in case those people are, are safe and secure with this so we're going to say 15 percent I'm going to stop using this process eventually, but let's just write it down for now. So we're going to say 15% of 80 Rand 70 uh, is equal to, let's get the calculator. So 15, oops, 15 over, why is it not typing in? I think I know why, 15, there we go. 15 over 100 times uh, 80.7. Is twelve comma one oh five. All right, let me move over slightly. All right, twelve comma one oh five. And then you guys will probably add twelve comma one oh five to the eighty rand and seventy. All right, then we should get Willie. Your percentage. Isn't it not supposed to be 7,5? Yeah, something is not right, yeah. Yeah, I think it's the percentage the because they said. I yeah. was looking at the vats, that's why. <laughs> I'm wondering, I'm like, <gasps> wait, did I miss that... something? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking it's at the vats. So it's 7.5. All right, very good. Thank you. Well, you doubled okay. it, so you can just half that 12 rand. Yeah. Um, so you see how we, we checked the answer, and I was like, whoa, like someone else said, oh, this is very high. We checked the answer and then make a quick assessment of it. I was like, hmm, this doesn't look good. So we have to go back and, and change it. All right, let's change that, let's change that, and let's change that. So 7.5. 
Okay, so 60525. Six comma o five two five six comma o five two five. Let's add it onto the eighty now. Eight plus eighty point seven is eighty six point seven five. All right, rounding off to two decimal places. The second decimal is a five. Look at the number next to it. Is a two? That's not going to change the five. So it's eighty six point seven five is fine. Okay, so 86.75 is fine. All right, so that's a two-step process. Well done to those people. Uh, yes, Sina, you know, so that answer is correct. Just make sure to round off to the second decimal. So it's 0.75 and then leave it at that. Okay, now I hope a lot of you are still using that other quick method that I taught you. All right, does anyone remember it? Can anyone speak to us and, and remind us of how it works? If Pabala was here, you would tell us. Is anyone else out there? Anybody. Anybody. Somebody. Somebody. <laughs> Come on, guys and girls. I know you know the second method. It's the quick one that I showed you. I'm sure some of you used it. Anybody? Somebody. Are they typing here? I can hear that they're typing the answers. <laughs> well, that's good too. At that least we'd good. have an explanation. At least we'd have an explanation that can be saved. All right. So someone's probably typing it in chat, but uh, okay, so really, yes. So that's what we did in this first line here. So we said 7.5% times 80. So that's the first step. And then the second step, we added that on. But there's a quick method. Who can remember the quick method? Nobody want to remind us. All right, let me show you. So you take your 80 rand. and 70 cents and you multiply by one comma zero seven five okay one comma zero seven five all right now where does this one comma zero seven five come from so this one here is saying that we want to uh, take our 80 and we want to um we want to uh increase it and add on interest Okay, and then the 0, 0.75 part here, that is the interest. So if I take um, 0, sorry, 7.5 and I divide it by 100, let's see what we get here. We get this decimal, 0 0.075. Okay, so that's what's in here. The 0 0.75 is in here, and the 1 is just saying, take the 80 and add it on. All right, so take 80 and add on 0 0.05, okay, or 7.5%, all right. Okay, so that was the quick method that we learned. Um, and if we do this on the calculator, 80.7 times 1.075, 86.75, we get the same answer. So 86.75. So that's just an, a quicker method. You don't have to use it. I'm not saying you must, but it is there. It's quick and easy. That'll increase a number by a percentage. Okay, so that's question one. All right, now how do we actually work out water usage? Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, let's not look at that question first. I'm gonna do an example with you and then you guys are gonna do the next one. Okay, so let's say this person has nine kiliters of water. All right, nine kiliters of water. Okay, if you guys wanna take a picture of the screen quickly before I rub this out, quickly do so and then I'm going to erase this and I'm going to do with nine kiloliters of water all right so if we have nine kiloliters of water this is what we do okay the first thing we do is we're going to remove six kiloliters because the first six kiloliters is free it's the rest we have to pay for so take the nine kiloliters and always remove any free water if there is any so minus six kiloliters over here which means we have to pay for three kiloliters of water all right now i'm going to write this next step down you don't have to but the this six kiloliters here is charged at zero cents 
I'm going to actually write it down, 0, 0, 0. You don't have to write this down because you know the answer is going to be 0, all right? I'm going to write it down just to show you how we work this out. Okay, so these, this 6 here is charged at 0 rands. Okay, now we still have 3 kiloliters left, okay? And we've moved out of the 6 kiloliter bracket. We've used, we've gone through 6 kiloliters. We're more than 6, we are 9. But how many in the next bracket, how many kiloliters of water do we have in the next bracket? We only have three, okay? If we look inside this bracket here, the second bracket, this is the one we're looking at, we're going from 6.1 to 30 kiloliters. We've got roughly, I'm saying roughly, because we've got decimals there, we've got roughly 24 kiloliters of water in there, roughly, okay? We've only got three left. So we're not gonna go through this bracket into the next one. We have to have more than, if you have, you have to have a total of more than 30 kiloliters to go into the next one. So we only have three. So we're going to stay somewhere in this second bracket. Okay. So now we're going to charge that last three kiloliters that we have um, at this rate here. The second bracket's rate is 648. So this three, last three that we have. Okay. You see this three that we have here remaining? This is the three I'm talking about. We need to charge this at the second brackets rate, which is 648. Okay. Let's get the calculator here. So three times 6.48. All right. So 19.44. All right. So our first six kiliters were charged at zero cents because they don't get a charge for that. The last three that we have remaining must be charged at the second bracket rate and that gets us a total of 1944. Now we've got to add all these RAND values up, okay? I'm going to write it out in full, even though it's zero, but I'm going to write this zero plus 19, 44 equals 19, 44. All right. Okay. Am I done? Great tens and elevens, am I finished? Yes, no. Am I done here with this question? There's, if I've got nine kiloliters, oh, these people that are saying no, why are they saying no? Tell us why. Tell us why. Why no? I think I'm done. What have I done wrong? Ah, there's my buddy saying, yes, you're done, sir. Okay, if these people are saying no, you have, like, and they say in the test, you have to justify your answer. We don't have the total amount. Why not, Sonia? I added them up. Sina? Oh, you guys are quick to type no, but no one wants to talk to me and tell me why no. Who would like to raise their hand and explain why I'm not done? Mm-hmm. There goes Tiamo and those emojis. Yeah, they love the top emojis. No one wants to explain. Help me, guys. Help me explain why why I'm not done. I've done that, Sonia. So I've got the the six. All right, there's the six. I'll write a little number here. This is the first step we took care of. The six kiloliters. Here's the second step we've got. The three kiloliters together. The six and the three must make nine. So we've covered all our water. We've we've calculated for all our water. And I've got a total here at the bottom. I added the zero rands, the 1944 up here at the bottom. So this should be it. I mean, the question says VAT is included. I don't have to work out VAT. What else is, what else is missing? And it's there, right in front of the eyes. What's Just missing, guys? On the screen. <laughs> mm, this, everyone's on holiday. Sina, yes. All right, Sina, we've asked you to unmute so you can help us. Tell us exactly what's missing here. So you should get a little pop-up on your screen that says unmute. I see Sonia typed in the chats as well. Oh, Sina, you need to look for a pop-up that says you must unmute. Yeah, you'll see something on your screen that says you must unmute. And you click that. Uh, 
There we go. Oh, is that the question? Where did you get zero from? Okay. Sina, is that your question? Where did I get the zero rands from? Okay. Let's go back to the table and I'll show you. Okay. So look at the table here. Uh, this first row over here. This first row says that if you use from zero up to up to six kiliters of water. Look at the right hand side. How much do you charge for that? Sina, can you tell me if you're using up to six kiliters, how much do they charge? They charge zero, hey? So there's no charge for water from zero up to six kiloliters. Okay. So we've got nine kiloliters of water. Okay. So if you look over here, I said, what, what happens if you've got nine kiloliters of water? Well, it means your first six kiloliters of that. And the best way to explain it is like this. If I draw a column, all right. So let's draw a column here. Let's make it this color over here. I draw this column. Okay, this is the water usage. This is nine kiloliters of water. All right, let's pretend it was in a big tank. Okay, so in this tank here, there's nine kiloliters of water. All right, they are telling me that about two thirds up to six kiloliters, which is about here, this much water, which is six kiloliters, is free water. You don't get charged for this. Okay, so this portion here, which is six kiloliters of your nine is free water. They don't charge you for that. The other water is not free. You're gonna to have to pay for that. How much is that? Well, that must be three kiloliters because the six plus the three must make nine. So this bit here, which is left over, after you take away your free water of six kiloliters, this little bit that's left over, the three kiloliters, this must be charged, all right? And it's charged per kiloliter. So every kiloliter in there is charged at six rand 48 per kiloliter. Okay. So that's the only part of this water that we really need to pay for. The first six kiloliters of this water is free. Everyone has that. Okay. So if you don't use more than six kiloliters in one month, you won't pay for anything. But if you go over, six kiloliters like this person has with nine, you're going to have to start paying. The first six are free, but after that, you're going to have to start paying. Okay. After six, you're going to have to start paying. All right. Now, all I'm going to do for the next question is change the nine. In this question, yeah, I wrote nine kiloliters. I'm going to change the nine to a new number. And you guys are going to do this one. All right. So let's have a look down here. There's the question there. It's question 1.2. Calculate the cost if Tato. Well, hold on. We haven't. Sorry, Kia. We have to come back here. Hey, these guys haven't told me why I'm wrong. A lot of people said I'm wrong. And no one could Sonia tell me why I'm gave wrong. an answer. Did she? Let's check. Yeah, she typed it in the chat. So she took 80 Rand and 70 cents, which is the fixed charge, and added it with the 19 Rand and 44 ah, cents we that go. we got. And then she got 100, 100 okay. Rand and 40. Well done, Sonia. All right. So if you look here on the left, all right, if you look at this table, they say there is a fixed charge. If you go over six kiloliters in your when you use water, you have to pay 80 Rand 70. No matter how much you go over, if it's one, one drop or a thousand kiloliters, if you go over six, you're paying that fee, 80 Rand 70. This person has gone over six. There are nine, nine kiloliters. So they have to pay the fixed fee. Okay, so we have to add that on. So we're going to take the fixed fee, which is 80 Rand 70, and we're going to add on the 19 Rand 44. That's the water usage. All right, well done, Sonia. Okay, so 80 Rand 70 plus 19 44 is 100 Rand and 14 cents. Well done, Sonia. Okay, all right. Okay, now we're going to do your question. You guys are going to do this one. I'm going to give you seven minutes. Okay, I'm going to give you about five to seven minutes to do this. Calculate the cost if Tato uses 15 
kiloliters of water. All right, now I'm going to put the table up in front of you. There's the table, 15 kiloliters of water. In fact, I'm going to move this question up a bit so you can see the question and the whole table. Oopsie. There we go. So there's the question at the bottom, question 1.2, calculate the cost of total uses 15 kiloliters of water. There's the table. Okay, there's the whole table. All right. Off you guys go. You're going to do that one on your own. Wow, Sambulo, that is so quick. Ooh, the speed is incredible. Very good speed. Pinky's iPhone. <laughs> well done. There's an answer there as well. Well done, Lenati. Okay, this is Lenati's second lesson here, and he's he's on tariffs. Baptism yeah. by fire. All right, Sonia, good. Let's hope nobody is retyping somebody's answer because mm. I just see answers, mm. answers, answers, no calculation. Mm. All right, we'll give you guys one more minute and then we'll try this one as well. Tiamo's already sad. Yes. Uh, yes, if you read the top, it says fixed charge, if greater than six kiloliters. So in the question, is that value more than six kiloliters? If so, yes. There we go. Thanks, Sonia. All right. Let's have a look. 15 kiloliters. 15 kiloliters. Now I'm going to go back to my same calculations here because the method is exactly the same all right instead of nine i'm going to put 15 which means that this will change okay which means that that will change as well this will also change this will also change let's remove that and that all right so let's just redo our calculations but with 15 here Okay, so we're going to put 15 in the front. So we've got 15 kiloliters. We need to remove six because six is free. So 15 minus six, that means we've got nine left. Okay, so 15 minus six kiloliters, we means we've got nine left. That six is free. I charge it at zero rands. I got zero rands as an answer. I still have nine left. Now, with this nine left, you've got to go back to the table and say, have we gone through the whole of the second bracket? If we have, we're going to have to do something else. Okay, but we haven't because this bracket, like I said, has got about 24 kiloliters of water and we're never going to go through that row 
with just nine. So we're going to be staying in that row. Okay. So this nine that we have left, okay, this nine here that we have left is all going to be charged at the second brackets rate, which is six rand forty-eight. Okay. So nine times six rand forty-eight is fifty-eight rand thirty-two. All right, now we add up all our totals. We got zero for the first one, and we got 58 Rand 32 for the second one. That gives us a total of 58 Rand 32. Okay. So we're gonna say that 80 Rand 70, why are we charging a fixed fee? Because we went over six kiloliters. So we have to charge this fixed fee. So it's the fixed fee plus the 58 Rand 72, oops, sorry, 32 equals. Get the calculator so it's 80 rand 70 plus 58 rand 32 is 106 rand and 2 106 and 20 106 and 20 106 and 20 oh we've got 139 58 maybe my calculation is wrong let's have a look yes Where on earth did this come from? 58, 58, 32. I'm dreaming up numbers here. 13902. There we go. My bad. 13902. All right. 13902. Yes. All right. 13902. Well done, everyone. You guys actually got that very easily. I think I need to make this more difficult. Yeah. All right, challenge we're gonna we're gonna try challenge you now. Okay, let's try challenge you. Okay, instead of fifteen kiloliters, oh here we go. I'm gonna see emojis now. Instead of fifteen kiloliters, let's try thirty-two kiloliters. Woo! -woo. Thirty-two kiloliters of water. Oh my gosh! Thirty-two guys. This person is using 32 kiloliters of water. Work with that one. Be careful. Let's see what you get. 32 kiloliters. All right, I'm going to show you the table again. This is the table. <clears throat> this person is using 32. I'll write it up here. Thirty-two kiloliters. Yikes. <laughs> Even Logan Jamie's not part of this whole thing. Logan, don't let Yamo influence you, okay? Thirty-two kiloliters, guys. Come on now, you can do it. There's the table. Follow the same process. It's gonna change a little bit at the end though. Yo, oh. Sonia, the speed. Sambula also with an answer. And they're very different. Yeah, you can see Sonia's answer has an emoji down there. It's like, how on earth did I get 501? <laughs> okay, we're getting different answers. Yeah, fantastic. All right, we're getting lots of different answers here.
Hmm. The Nazis are, uh, I've also got this one. All right, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, a couple more seconds and we're going to start going over this. Well, people are still busy. Good, Batande. Well done. Ah, check. Sam Willis like, hey, hold on. I think you guys are forgetting something. You, uh, working with each other, giving suggestions. That's fantastic. Well done. Let's see. All right, just remember, I don't know if you guys were in the lesson when I first introduced you to tariffs. I gave you a very important hint. I said, when you go into tariff tables, it's good for you to write down how much water or how much electricity is in each row. Okay, and we said yeah, earlier, we said in the second row from 6 to 30 is about 24 kiloliters. And in the third row from 30 to 60 is about 30 kiloliters. So that's a good guide because it shows you how much is in that row. It shows you if you're going to use all the water in that row and move into the next one. So it's actually a good idea to write down how much is in each row on the side of the table there. All right, excellent. We've got a whole lot of answers now. So let's have a look. Let's see. 32 kiloliters. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to go back to my method here and I'm going to start with my 32. Okay. I'm going to remove six like we always do. 32 minus six is 26 kiloliters. All right. So we've got 26 left to work with. The first six we charge at zero rand. So that's zero rand over there. All right. Now we've got 26 kiloliters left, guys. All right. Now, are we going to stay? in the second bracket that's the question you're going to have to ask if we stay in the second bracket we can just finish it off do we stay in the second bracket or do we get pushed into the third one well if you look here if we know there's 24 kiloliters in the second bracket i still have 26 kiloliters so i'm using all the water in the second bracket and there's still some left over that's going to push me into the third bracket okay so this 24 here we're going to have to remove 24, which is all the water in the second bracket, charge at the second bracket rate, and then deal with what's left over. Okay, so I've got 26 left over. So I'm going to say this, 26 that I've got left over, remove 24. Why am I saying 24? Because there's 24 kiloliters in the second bracket. That's all the water in the second bracket. Okay, which means I have two kiloliters left over. All right, this 24 gets charged at the second bracket rate, which is 6 Rand 48. Okay, you can't use more than 24 in that bracket. If you have more than 24, you're going to go over into the second one. So I'm going to say 24, that's all the water in the second bracket, times 6 Rand 48. And we're going to get 15552. 15552. 155. Five, two. So that's all the water in the second bracket. I still have two kiloliters left. Now we've moved from free water into the second one, used all the water in there, all 24, and now we're in the third bracket with only two kiloliters left. We're not going to move out of the third bracket. We're going to stand here. Okay. And this bracket's charged at 16 Rand 20. Okay. So that two kiloliters I've left, I'm going to write here two kiloliters where's this two kiloliters come from this is the remainder all right this two that is left are charged at the third brackets rate and if i move to the side there the third brackets rate is 16 rand 20. okay so i've got to calculate that so it's two times 16 rand 20. 32 rand 40. All right, now where are all these charges, okay? I've got zero rands for this first six kiloliters. I've got 155 rand 52 in the second bracket, and I went into the third, the last two kiloliters, and I've got 32 rand 40 in here. So I've got to add all these all up. I'll write it up for you, just so that you can see. Plus 155 52 plus 32 rand 40 gives me <clears throat> 32 and 40 plus 155552 equals 187 and 92. All right. Now I know what you guys are going to say. Teacher Dale, what about the fixed fee? Yes, we have to pay a fixed fee. We went over six kiloliters. We did 20, 32 kiloliters, so we way over. So we're going to add on the fixed fee. So 187.92. Plus the 80 rand 70. Oh, 
80 Rand 70. This gives me a grand total of 26862. 26862. Mm. There we go. Sonia's reminding me. I'm not done. Now, why are guys getting 24928? Well, let's check our answer quickly. Let's go back and check the whole thing. Okay. We're going to start from the beginning again. So here we go. We had 32 kiloliters, okay? I'm gonna use uh, a green underline. We have 32 kiloliters, we subtracted the six, we have 26 left. The first six is charged at zero rand. We've got zero rand for that. We've got 26 left, we have to take 24 out, because there's 24 kiloliters in the second bracket, which means we have two left. That 24 is charged at six rand 48. I'm gonna check that calculation. 24 times six rand 48 equals, 15552, that's correct. So 15552 is correct. I've still got two kiloliters left. The two kiloliters that is left is charged at the third brackets rate, which is 16 rand 20. There it is there, 16 rand 20. I'm going to check that calculation. Two times 16 rand 20. I'm going to check that calculation and we're getting 32 rand 40. Yes, 32 rand 40 is correct. I'm adding up all my rands, the zero for the six kiloliters, second bracket, third bracket, Gives me a total of 187 rand 90. And now yeah. Sonia says, you're not done. You've got to add on your fixed fee. So 187.92 plus 80. I'll check that calculation. So 187.92 plus 80 rand 70. And I get 268.62. 268.62. Hmm. Now, guys, you're getting 249. What happened? Where did we go wrong? If you look at your calculations, because everyone should be writing this down, what is different? What is different between me and you? All these guys that are getting 249, Ayanda, Sina, Lechlo, did you check your calculations? Lenati, did you check your calculation? What is different between mine and yours? There must be something different. Ah, the subtractions. You, I think you guys didn't go into the third bracket. I think you didn't go into the third bracket. Okay, so that's why I had the that's why I had the twenty four there. So if we look at our table again, look at our table again. I'll remove what I didn't have. This is what I had on the table when I read you the question. I had that twenty four sitting there in front of you to say there's only 24 kiloliters in that bracket. I think you charged all 26 at the six rand 48. That's what I think you guys did. Okay, so we had to remove, so this step here was critical. We had to remove 24 and we still had two left that has to go into the third bracket. Okay, <clears throat> I think that's where we were different. Yeah, Sonia, I was trying to give you a clue. I was trying to give you a clue. Yes, Lenati, I think we all, all did the same thing. You all, all charged all 26 kiloliters at the six rand 28. Okay, so let this be a hint, a tip for you guys. You, your method isn't wrong. It's just to remember when to move into the next bracket. And the way you, you know that is you quickly write down, when you get the question, you quickly write down how many kiloliters in each bracket. So when you see the question, you write here, that's the first bracket's about six kiloliters, the second bracket's about 24 kiloliters, and the third bracket's got about 30 kiloliters in there. Okay, so if you've used six kiloliters, you can tick it off. If you've got 26 left, you're gonna use all the water in the second bracket and then go into the third with a little bit of water, two kiloliters. Uh, Sonia, sometimes they do VAT exclusive. Usually that's more grade 11 or if they want to really, really give you a difficult question, they'll say VAT exclusive. Um, most of the time they'll say VAT inclusive. On the websites, the prices are VAT inclusive, but an examiner that wants to add another level of um, difficulty to the question can say that all these prices are VAT exclusive and then you'll have to add VAT at the end, which is another step at the end, okay? Adding VAT. All right, uh, Tiamo, let's have a look at it again. 
we I'm going to write you on the top and then we're going to call it a night. We had 32 kiloliters. All right. We removed six. That left us with 26 kiloliters. All right. So if you look at 26 and you look over here, there's more water in the second bracket than what we have. Okay, so we're going to use all the water in the second bracket, 24 kiloliters, which is charged at 648. We still have a little bit left over. Now, what do we charge that at? Well, you can't charge it at the second bracket rate because there's only 24 kiloliters of your water allowed to be charged at that rate. You've got to move into the third one. Okay, you've got to move into the third one and you're going to charge at 16 rand 20 for that last little bit of water, the two kiloliters of water. All right. Uh, so what you can do is you can have homework because it's seven o'clock now we've got to go. So I can give you homework. So what you can do is I'll give you a value. All right. So let's say I'll write it up here. 45 kiloliters. Okay. There's the table in front of you. In fact, let me go up to show the fixed value and I'll erase all this. And then when we come back on Thursday, if you guys have that questions answer there, we'll quickly do it uh, or we'll check the answer and then we'll move on to the rest of the lesson. Okay, so let's try this with 45 kiloliters. Okay, I'm going to write the values in here again. So this is six kiloliters. This is 24. And this is 30. There's 30 in there. All right, take a screenshot, 